again to Cabbage Weepers, the best channel for board game reviews. Uh, I'm Jean and today I'll be sharing with you on how to play Codenames the Czech Edition. This game won the board game of the year in 2016, so it's definitely a great game which everyone can enjoy. Let's start by learning how to set up the game. Uh, okay. Um, uh, firstly, we have to divide the teams, uh, the players into two equal teams. Uh, and then uh, best played by four or six players. Uh, and then uh, each team will choose a spy master. And every other player uh, will be an agent for their team. And this card. It represents the red agent for the red team and the blue agent is the blue team oh, sorry this is the first card the blue blue agent is this card and then the white card is the bystander it does nothing it's a neutral card and the assassin card which should be avoided at all costs uh, if a player accidentally picked the assassin that's it game over so we shuffle the code names and uh, place them facing upwards uh, in a 5x5 five five grid. Then uh, uh, the spy master will shuffle and draw this key card. This secret key reveals the secret identity behind the code names. So it should never be viewed by the agents. Uh, okay. Then the line above the key card indicates which team starts first. For example, this one, the blue team starts first. So now we are done with setting up. Let's proceed to play. Uh, each team will take turns to guess the secret identity of their agents uh, through the clue given by their spy master. The spy master may only say one word as a clue and one number. The number represents the number of code names on the board which the clue applies to. Uh, for example, um, there are code names of rabbit and fish. So the spy master may say um, pet too. So based on this clue, the agent have to guess two cards from, from this board. Mm. Yeah, uh, besides that, the spy master can also indicate unlimited as the number. This allows unlimited guesses. The disadvantage is that uh, the agent will not know how many cards are there uh, related to the clue given. However, if the agent is lucky to be able to pick the correct card, this can lead to victory. Um, so, the first team that finish, uh, I mean, uh, finish choosing all the correct card to win the game. Thank you. Hello and welcome to Cabbage Meeples. Uh, with me here today is Jean and her board game, Codenames. Uh, I'm going to ask her a few questions so we can learn a bit more about this very, very interesting game. So Jean, uh, first question, the most important, I think everybody wants to know. Uh, how much is this game? <laughs> uh, Codenames, the Czech edition is available online. Uh, you can buy it from Lazada for around 160 ringgit. 160 ringgit. Hmm. <laughs> it depends, I guess, on the person. And, uh, well, second question, uh, quite important as well. Uh, would you recommend this game since you played it? Oh, to yes. To our viewers out there. 
Yes, of course, uh, this game is super fun and it's available in many different versions such as uh, Harry Potter version, Marvel, Disney and many more. And then uh, this game won the Board Game of the Year award for a reason, so you really should try it out. Well, that's a very good reason to get this game. Uh, well, Jean, then we also have, I also have uh, another question for you. Uh, two questions in one, basically. Uh, the good and the bad of this game. What are the positives and what are the negatives of this game? Since you've played it, since you've experienced it, what do you think? Okay, the bad I think is because this game is uh, best to be played with uh, even number players. So both teams can be equal. And then the good is this game is really great for icebreaker, party nights, game nights and it is so versatile to the number of people and the gameplay itself. Uh, it also makes you think and requires you and your team to have good communication skill. Well, I guess that's about it. That's all the questions I have. Thank you very much Jean for being here today with your very very interesting board game. Thank Don't you. forget to like, subscribe and Perhaps comment if you have a comment. Yeah. See you again. <laughs>